Good day everyone! Welcome to Bahai Aralan. In this video, we will talk about context clues. What do we mean by context clues? These are hints within the sentence or paragraph that will help you understand or determine the meaning of the unfamiliar words. There are different types of context clues. They form the acronym IDEAS. I stands for inference or general context. D for definition, E for example, A for antonym, and S for synonym. Let us have inference first. When you say inference, the meaning of the unfamiliar word is implied through text evidence instead of clearly stating it in the sentence. For example, after winning the game, the team players were quite boisterous. I had to cover my ears. In this example, you need to figure out the meaning of the word boisterous. To do so, you have to look for the clue. Now, what do you think is the context clue in the sentence or the group of words that can help us identify its meaning? To cover my ears. So, in what particular instance does a person cover his ears? It is when the people around him or his surroundings are noisy or loud. Boisterous means noisy or loud. As you can see, the clue found in the sentence does not directly give you the meaning of the word. You need to use your prior knowledge or analyze the clue first to figure out its meaning. And that is what an inference type of context clue is. Another example, my dad drinks a cup of joe every morning to help him wake up. He adds a little cream and half a teaspoon of sugar. So, what do you think is the meaning of the word Joe? I bet you already know it. It means coffee. What made you figure it out? Because of the context clue, which is drinks every morning to help him wake up. This is what people usually drink in the morning to become awake, right? Another clue is it is added with cream and sugar. Okay? So, we're done with the I, or the inference. Let us now move on to D, which is definition. As the term suggests, definition gives an explanation of the meaning of the word in the same sentence. That is, you can already find the meaning of the unfamiliar word in the sentence as it is clearly stated or explained in the sentence. Let us have an example. The arbitrator... A person chosen to settle a disagreement made her decision today. In the sentence, you need to figure out the meaning of the unfamiliar word arbitrator. But, as you can see, you no longer need to analyze the sentence further because you can find its definition or meaning right after it, which is a person chosen to settle a disagreement. Clear? Another example. Resentment, a feeling of bitterness and anger, is often felt by people who are passed over for promotions. In this example, you are supposed to identify the meaning of the word resentment. But, thanks to the definition or explanation given right next to it, you already know what it means. Which is a feeling of bitterness and anger. Easy, isn't it? Now, let us have the E, which says example. This means that specific items, such as in a list, provide clues to the meaning of the unfamiliar word. For example, pedagogical institutions like elementary schools, high schools, and colleges require community support to function effectively. In this example, you need to figure out the meaning of the word pedagogical. And you are given a clue in the form of specific examples or list of items. These are elementary schools, high schools, and colleges. Through these examples, you can notice that these are schools, right? And what is usually done in these institutions? Educating or teaching people. Therefore, pedagogical means something that relates to teaching. Next one. Ecclesiastics, such as priests, ministers, 
and pastors should set models of behavior for their members. In this sentence, you need to identify the meaning of the word ecclesiastics. To help you do so, you need to look at the examples given, such as priests, ministers, and pastors. So, with these given examples, what do you think is its meaning? It means officials or people authorized to conduct religious services in Christian churches. Now, let us have the letter A, which is antonym. In this case, a word with an opposite meaning is given in the sentence. For example, she acted nonchalant about the exam, but she was actually quite concerned. In this example, you have to figure out the meaning of the word nonchalant. For you to do so, you need to find the context clue. It is actually quite concerned. Another clue that can help you is the word but, which signifies that the idea it introduces is opposite or in contrast to the previous one. Therefore, the meaning of nonchalant is something that is opposite to the word concerned which is showing a lack of interest or does not care. Another one. The court decided that the claim was fraudulent, even though the evidence seemed to show it was real. So, in this sentence, you have to identify the meaning of the word fraudulent. To help you figure out its meaning, you need to look for the context clue. And the clause itself even though the evidence seemed real is the context clue. If you analyze it, the connector even though tells that the idea it introduced is opposite to the idea that precedes it. Therefore, the meaning of fraudulent is the opposite of real. In other words, untrue or deceitful. Last one, letter S for synonym. In this case, a word with a similar meaning is given in the sentence. Let us have an example. The coach doesn't allow taunting, so don't let her hear you teasing the other team. You need to identify the meaning of the word taunting in the sentence, and you have to look for the context clue. The synonym teasing is given. Therefore, the meaning of taunting is teasing or making fun of. Last example, her story was fabricated. Every word of it was completely made up. Now you have to figure out the meaning of the word fabricated. To do so, you have to look for the context clue. And in this example, the synonym of the word is given, which is made up or stated something false to deceive someone. Is it clear? That being said, that would be all for this video. Thank you for watching. Take care.